By now, it's pretty much agreed that our atmosphere is changing due to global warming. But how do the scientists know for sure? How can they monitor that? They do it by using machines like these. We measure carbon dioxide on an, on an infrared analyzer. This is a device called an interferometer. It effectively measures very accurate changes in the speed of light. And in air, that depends on what the air is made out of and particularly how much oxygen is in it. And we keep track of the data both on paper form just for immediate visualization and we take it digitally so we have digital records. This is Ralph Keeling. He studies climate change at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Thanks to the little glass casks of air samples sent to him every couple of weeks from around the world, he's able to analyze the atmosphere from just about anywhere. This is a sample that came back from Palmer Station in Antarctica, so uh, if I opened this up and breathed it, I would be breathing Antarctic air. He also analyzes the air much closer to home, just steps away from this equipment at the end of Scripps Pier. Yeah, we have an in intake system for actually taking an air sample. It draws the air in and then uh, we analyze that air for various compositions. You can see what's in that ocean air after it's sucked back into the room and run through these devices. Occasionally we get quite clean air at La Jolla when we get a strong breeze off the ocean and it blows away all the pollution and then we're suddenly capturing not the local pollution environment but really the background atmosphere and that's what we're mainly interested in here. The granddaddy of scientific measuring equipment is the massive tangle of glass that Keeling's father, also a climatologist at Scripps, built 50 years ago when the effects of CO2 in the atmosphere were just starting to be measured and understood. This is called a constant volume manometer. This is a molecule counting device and it counts air molecules and it counts carbon dioxide molecules and gives you a concentration. The device is comparatively slow against more modern instrumentation. It takes about four hours to read a sample on the manometer compared to just 10 minutes on the infrared analyzer Keeling uses in his lab. But this device is still so accurate that most of the other equipment Keeling uses to measure changes in the atmosphere are calibrated to this device. And since this device hasn't changed since the 50s, Keeling also knows the numbers taken back then are just as solid as the numbers he's taking today. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.